Let's find out what's happening on the event schedule for the weekend. Not as many events this weekend, but still a lot for you to do. In Du Bois County, it's the St. Anthony Fireman's Fest that is happening all day Saturday at St. Anthony Community Center. It's a fundraiser for the fire department. There'll be food, games, activities, abilities for families and uh, kids to talk with the firefighters, look at the trucks and the equipment. Just a celebration and fundraiser for those folks that put their lives on the line for us every day. Then we're moving right along to Perry County. This is to benefit the Perry County Council on Aging. It's a fun event. It's tomorrow at 1130 at the William Tell Center. It's a Hawaiian luau. A musical guest Lee Grunquist will be there. There'll be food and activities for folks as well. And to find out a little bit more about the Perry County Council on Aging and what they provide for senior citizens in the Perry County community. And music too, pretty fun. Then we move right along to Spencer County. It's the Santa Claus Touch a Truck event that is happening Saturday from 10 to 1 at Jim Yellig Park. It is free. There will be food trucks for you to purchase food and snacks for you and your family. But this is an opportunity for surrounding um, emergency services personnel as well as fire and police. They'll be having all their equipment and trucks and um, there'll be a helicopter as well for kids to kind of explore, check out in a safe way to learn about the equipment that our EMS and our public safety officials use. So it's a cool hands-on experience for the family. They'll There'll also be food, music, and fun things to do in the Santa Claus area there as well. And then we move along. There's not really much happening in Gibson or Spencer or Warwick counties this weekend. So now we're heading into Evansville and Vanderburg County. It is the Kentucky Headhunters and Confederate Railroad concert that is happening tomorrow night at Old National Events Plaza. That concert kicks off at 7 o'clock. Tickets start at $45. And then we've got the Olaf Festival. We will be hearing from those folks coming up in our next half hour a little bit more in depth. But this is happening this Saturday, the annual event at Bossy Field from 1 to 10 p.m. It is $10 to enter. There's at least 30 food trucks available for you to sample and enjoy what they bring, as well as um, music. They'll be, they'll be dancing, different vendors as well, uh, celebrating Hispanic heritage and culture there at the Olaf Festival. So we'll be talking to those folks in just a few minutes but fun event. Then we've got the Bounce House Festival. This is to benefit the nonprofit Young and Established. That is coming up this Saturday at noon at Old National Events Plaza. And if you are planning to, if you're just hanging out and milling about, it won't cost you the $15. But if you do plan to jump on the different bounce houses, which I'm sure most children, uh, teens will want to do, it is $15 to enter the different bouncy houses and castles and jump around. And then we've got the Wall to Table Reception brought to you by the Arts Council of southwestern Indiana. That is Saturday from 5 to 6.30. And this is combining 2 and 3D art there with their uh, new display and exhibit. And it's a free reception. Check it out. Then we've got the wine pairing dinner that is tomorrow night in Henderson County at Farmer and Frenchman. It is $160 per person to attend that. That's about five or six different wine pairings with different courses of meals. That is taking place from 7 to 9 o'clock tomorrow night. And then it's the park-wide flea market slash yard and craft sale. This is in the Owensboro area. That's tomorrow from 8 to 4 at Diamond Lake Resort. You can check out all different sorts of craft vendors, flea market vendors, yard sale things. It's never too early to get started on holiday shopping, holiday decor, those sorts of things. So that's happening tomorrow. And then we have Friday After Five. That continues along the riverfront in downtown Owensboro. It's the Bluegrass Legends Car, Truck, and Motorcycle Show. Sean Murphy will perform, as well as Lou Jetton, 61 south and several other bands then we've got the bluegrass legends car show that is saturday and sunday at the owensboro sports center in moreland park two different locations there's food trucks a swap meet all different sorts of cars and trucks available for you to check out as well the sports center and moreland park in owensboro then we have the multicultural festival happening on saturday from 10 to 4 it is free at first presbyterian church different food vendors activities booths things for the whole family to enjoy celebrating one community and many voices. And then we've got Steve Earle performing Saturday at 7 at the Bluegrass Music Hall of Fame and Museum. Tickets are $42 for general seating. VIP reserved seating is $58 for that concert. And that are, uh, that's all the events. We didn't have as many, like I said, this weekend, but still a lot happening in the tri-state. Next weekend's going to be pretty full, so that's going to be jam-packed if you're in the area next weekend.